If you've ever wanted an easy way to measure your financial progress, then stick around because today I'm going to show you how to calculate your net worth. One of my favorite sayings has always been, what gets measured gets managed. This is especially true with money. If one of your long-term goals is to become wealthy, and I'll assume it is because you've made it here to my channel, then you need to understand what your net worth is. Your net worth simply is what you own minus what you owe. It will give you a clear idea of your overall financial status. If you like having a clear picture of how you're doing financially, then click the like button and give this video a thumbs up. So how do you calculate your net worth? I'm about to show you, but before I do that, I wanna remind you to subscribe to my channel for more personal finance tips just like this one. It only takes one click and it helps this channel a whole lot. Thanks. All right, so the first step in calculating your net worth is creating a list of all the things you own, otherwise known as your assets. Everything that belongs to you and is valuable is an asset. This might include a home, if you're a homeowner, a car, a bank account, a retirement account, and anything else you might own that's valuable. To get an estimate of the value of your home, search your address on Zillow.com. You won't find an exact valuation, but it will usually get you in the right ballpark. To get an estimate of the value of your car or any other vehicles you own, search for your make and model on KBB.com and make sure you're looking at the private party value. Side note, while technically everything you own is an asset, and technically that includes that old pair of socks stuffed in the back of your dresser drawer, I don't like to include all the small stuff because it's tough to put a value on most of it and it would make this calculation take a lot more time. The smallest asset I usually count is my car. If you wanna go more exact than that, go for it. So once you have all these assets laid out with their values, Add them all together. As an example, let's say my home is worth $300,000, my car is worth $20,000, and I have $15,000 in my bank account. Add all these up and I get $335,000. That's the total value of my assets. Step two is to create a list of all of your debts, otherwise known as your liabilities. Everything you owe money on is a liability and should be included on this list. This might include a mortgage, some student loans, some credit card debt, a car loan, and anything else you've borrowed money on. Once you have all these liabilities laid out with the amount for each, add them all together. For our example, let's say I owe $200,000 on my mortgage, $5,000 on my car, and I have a $30,000 student loan. Add all these up and I get $235,000. The final step is to take the amount you got in step one for your assets and subtract the amount you got in step two for your liabilities. When you do this, the result will be your net worth. To finish our example, if I take 335,000 and subtract $235,000, I wind up with an even $100,000. Not a bad net worth. You might come up with a negative number when you do this calculation. That's fine, it just means you have a negative net worth. In other words, you currently owe more than what you own. This is pretty common for young adults who have a bunch of student loan debt or have financed a new vehicle. When you make any big financial decision, think about whether it will have a positive effect on your net worth in the long run. If so, go for it. If not, maybe you should reconsider. Your net worth is a great way to keep track of your financial progress, so take the time to calculate it every once in a while. Once your net worth exceeds $1 million, you are officially, by definition, a millionaire. Have you ever calculated your net worth before? Or is this your first time? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Andrew Shear, and I'll see you next time.